Now, former Formula One boss Bernie Eccleston has pleaded guilty to fraud after failing to declare more than £400 million of overseas assets. As you can see, our reporter Craig Slater is here with me. Craig, just talk us through this then. Tell us about the case and what has happened today. Well, this uh, plea was heard at Southwark Crown Court today. Bernie Eccleston had previously rejected this charge that he had failed to declare an overseas trust fund for his three daughters, Deborah, uh, Petra and Tamara. Uh, but he has, has come in today and pled guilty that it has existed. But, but it all relates to a meeting that he had with HMRC back in 2015 when Eccleston declared that he only had a single trust fund set up to, to benefit his daughters and answered a direct no to the question, were there any other trusts either in the UK or overseas? So... As his own defence barrister has pointed out today, if he'd said, I don't know, rather than no, uh, it would have made a difference to this particular case. So he has pled guilty. He has also agreed to a £652 million settlement with HMRC over this, which relates to the 18 years of this trust fund's existence. But significantly, he still faces sentencing today and I understand we will get that sentencing of Bernie Eccleston at some point this afternoon sometime after two o'clock most likely and there still is the potential for a, for a custodial sentence here as I understand it. His barrister has said to try and mitigate that situation sometimes it is necessary to send the very elderly to, pris to prison but this is not the case particularly with the crowded prison estate. Bernie Eccleston is going to be 93 years of age later on this month. It's been a long time since he's been in charge of Formula One and his, his defence barrister has also said he is in frail health and has been deeply affected by this, this ongoing tax situation. You said there's been a long time since he's been involved with F1. What about the sport of F1 then and his ties to it? Does he have any remaining ties and does this have any link to the sport? This all relates to, to Bernie Eccleston's personal financial situation. So there is no entanglement with Formula One as a sport relating to this. He hasn't had a formula, formal role within F1 for two or three years now uh, and actually began selling off his ownership in the sport as long ago as, as 1999. He was formula, formerly the, the commercial rights holder, effectively Formula One's owner, but bit by bit, he has, has sold off his, his, his chunks of that over the years, um, notably to CVC Capital Partners in 2006, uh, when he no longer became the majority shareholder. He did, though, retain the status as chief executive. Now, that was lost when the current owners of F1 Liberty Media came in in 2017. Chase Carey actually sacked Bernie Eccleston face-to-face -face from that job, and, and Eccleston subsequently sold off uh, virtually all of his, his remaining shares. Uh, he had a, a chairman emeritus role after that, which was a kind of ceremonial title. That has, has lapsed for a couple of years now. So, so no day-to-day -day involvement in F1, although his wife, um, who is with him in court today, Fabiana Flossi, has, uh, has a role within the FIA. She is one of the, the main executives in South America for Formula One's governing body. But an anxious time uh, for... Of course, Eccleston himself and his many friends and admirers within Formula One still who, who do credit him with establishing the sport as far and away the, the pinnacle of, of motor racing uh, compared to any, any other formula of motorsport. And we'll see if indeed he has managed to, to escape a, a custodial sentence later on today.